This segment of Natural Born is brought to you by Scent Crusher. Scent off, game on. This week on Winchester and Drury's Natural Born. We are on a turkey mission and we're gonna try and go one, two, three. Contact, mister. I can't believe we doubled like that. Oh, baby. Big buck action here in camp. What are we gonna do? Shoot a deer. I don't know what to say. Just awesome. Holy cow. Winchester and Drury Outdoors present Natural Born. It's in your blood. It's in your DNA. Welcome to this segment of Natural Born. We are on a turkey mission. We're out in Kansas, and we're gonna try and go one, two, three. Three strikes, you're out. Dan Thurston's up to bat, then it's Big Tad Brown, and hopefully we can get those two out of the way, and yours truly is gonna step in front of this camera and run those mad calls. We're gonna have some fun. One, two, three, here we go. Yeah, what about it today, huh, mister? Contact, mister. Are we deer hunting or turkey hunting? It's cold. Oh my gosh. MBK, he's here. Here we go. We got two long beards right here on the opposite side of the field. We're gonna try to do a sneak around here, around this brush. See if we can find a good setup. Let's make a swing at them. All right, they're moving this way with the whole flock, Dan. <laughs> Kyle's got them all wigged out. take a coyote whenever you can. We have way too many and they're hard on the population of turkeys and everything else. That was as good as the turkey kill right there, mister. Hey. Hey, coyote turkey combo. That's born killers, man. <laughs> Got the coyote, but scattered the birds with the shot. They've kind of went all directions. We're not exactly sure where they'll roost, but they'll be back in the morning. Actually got a little sunshine under that cloud cover, mister. Could be bad on them in the morning. Sun is a good thing. Turkeys will gobble their heads off. And we'll blow them off. <laughs> you are natural barn. Yeah. We still got a little bit of light left. We got one going. And he's across the, the fence. On a piece of ground that we can't hunt. It's actually like a preserve. He's gobbling good at my call. And I've been yelping up here a good while for him. So I'm gonna keep yelping and yelping and yelping and try and pull him this way in the morning. So he's playing B or C. We'll see how it goes. Two, we'll see in the morning. 29 degrees. What is wrong with people? <laughs> Walking in a winter wonderland. Whew. Look who it is. Kansas Dan. You ready, Tasmo? I'm ready. I said, is it bad when there's frost on top of the grizzly cooler? It's actually ice. <laughs> Let's go do it. We were in here last night, and Dan and I roosted a couple, so I want to see if they're still hot. You're definitely going to have to act like you're coming. It's a couple, 30 or 40 times. Well, I've been down there. About like last night. Yeah, they're, they're hot. They're still hot. I should Let's set up on that scene. Alright buddy, you wanna drop back? We'll stay up here. I think they're coming. Stay up to date with our official journal on DruryOutdoors.com.
kill him. Down again. Get ready to shoot him. Good job, Dan. You go, Bongo. You got him. That's number one, Dan. Good job. Contact, mister. <laughs> Unbelievable. Mark actually went over the ridge, started calling like, here I am, here I am. They turned around, came right up, and right where he was calling. Great job, mister. Yeah, good shot, buddy. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Hey, a little bit low. It's a dead bird. We got one. He is a beautiful bird. Dad, this is number one of our three phase plan by Mark Gurry. You're up next, number two, and then on to Mark. Let's, Let's go. go get them. Let's go. Okay, these birds are about a couple of hundred yards through the cedars over here. We just set up and tried to call to them. They wouldn't gobble. I think they're too far, so we're going to use these cedars and try to sneak up in there and try to get as close to them as we can before we get set up on them. I'm on. Okay. <laughs> Left one. Good job, buddy. Number two, brother. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how about that sneak into the blind? <laughs> that was awesome, Tad. Yeah. This long beard coming. It's back. awesome. This blind was even here. Yes, it is. It is. Meant to be. Here he comes back, buddy. He's going to that flopping turkey. Okay, give me your camera. I can get you loaded. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I'm on him. Got him, bud? Got him. I'm on him. Oh my goodness, a double. I can't believe we doubled like that. How about that, number three? <laughs> Second end of a double. One, two, three, and the coyote. All right, Tad Brown, woo! Wow, <laughs> wow, baby. <laughs> oh, sweet. sweet. Thank you, Mr. Thurston. We made contact. Beautiful turkeys. He is, Tom Zilla. So Dan said number one, and then number two and three came pretty quickly, Tad. Yes, they did. Boom, boom. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations to you. That was an awesome hunt. That was fun. I'll tell you what, this is kind of a special trip. It's been a long time since the three of us have been together. It has. We appreciate it, Dan, you putting us on the birds, and it's as much a pleasure as always. I mean, it was. It's always a good time. Always a good time. Coyote last night. Dan <laughs> kills this morning, then Tad, then myself. We were slipping, crawling through there, but that's a one, two, three, three strikes. We are out, natural born. Keep up with all the excitement on our official Facebook page. This segment of Natural Born is brought to you by PSE's Carbon Air. Experience performance. It's the start of the Missouri youth season, and Terry Drury is hosting a crop of young hunters. As you can see, I'm not dressed to go hunting, 
because we got guests coming in this evening. We got two little grandsons coming to hunt for the youth season, which opens tomorrow morning. And then we've also got uh, my niece, Nikki, her little boy Brendan is coming in. And I think Waylon's gonna be with Brendan, so we're gonna have a pretty good time. Now, here's what we're gonna talk about. Nowadays, you guys are such uh, I was a kid growing up. Along. You know, we didn't get to hunt in spots where there were a lot of deer, so when we saw one, we shot it right away, and it probably was 20 inches of snow and 10, 12 inches of ice. Zero bucks. They start killed a buck, and I've hunted how many days? You guys are fortunate in the fact that you get to hear what took us 30 years to learn. You got any questions? To have a young hunter excited about getting out in the timber is a great thing. You know, it's so important and great to take the young kids hunting. I think just teaching them what hunting's all about and then getting their interest and questions flowing. Without a doubt, the most important thing to teach young hunters is, is safety first. So if you instill that in them early, then the rest of, of the hunt will probably be a pretty enjoyable experience. I think one of the most important things for a young hunter to learn is respect for the animal, respect for the area he's hunting, and also patience. Patience is probably the most important thing. You put the time in and you're patient enough, sooner or later you're gonna be successful. This is a first for me and a first for the boys. We got Brandon, Brandon, and Nolan, and Waylon in the box pine with me. And we've got Carter and Matt Clump and Ryan Narrup, my camera guy, are in another blind and they're a considerable distance from us. But this is some of the best hunting we've got on my farm. All right, now what are we gonna do? Shoot a deer. Well, here we are, it's November 5th. This is Carter, my son. This is his first deer out this year. What do you think about this, Carter? It's cool. Think you're gonna kill something this morning? Yeah. He did. He's pretty confident, as you can see. So we'll just sit here and see what we see. Good luck, buddy. Carter, buck. made a great shot got his first deer down and I can't be more happy for you buddy no one what do you guys say about your run hey, what if he killed a monster you'd be happy for him right oh I would be jealous <laughs> <laughs> that's the way it works though my brother's been doing it to me for years nice buck nice buck right here In here in camp, these boys are wiping them out. This is what we wanted right here. Wow, that's awesome. Good shooting, buddy. Tweet the Drury's at Drury Outdoors. Let us know about your hunts. Big buck action here in camp. These boys are wiping them out. This is what we wanted right here. Take your time and breathe. Uh, uh, 
Leg kick. You hit him. He's. He just went down. All right. He just <laughs> All right. All right. Yes. Way to go. Way to go, Brendan. What do you say, Uncle Terry? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hunt, 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 and then you settle. <laughs> That's usually what happens with me. But we love it. If we didn't love it, we wouldn't be doing it. What have I got going on here now? Okay, go. Well, we just can't seem to get anything right. We watched the Weather Channel this morning. There was a huge front coming through, and we waited till it stopped, and we hurried to get in here, but we were 15, 20 minutes late. We spooked a giant deer with the buggy, and the wind has been kind of messed up. Oh, feel that. Wow, it is so wrong, it ain't even funny. Straight west, and they're calling for northeast. Dead wrong. Well, if you're like me, you're checking the weather channel about every time you go out, and they're about as accurate as I am at guessing the weather. Terry was faced with a tough decision whether or not to stay in the stand. Hopefully things will change. It's November 8th, and in my opinion, on November 8th, it's prime time. Terry, my man, stay there, stay there. I know it doesn't feel right right now, but you never know what's gonna show up. Well, Terry, all I can say is that sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Another deer, another deer, another deer coming. Oh, bigger buck shooter, that's a shooter. He will expire, but he came a little further than what we thought he than what we thought thought he should have. So we're just gonna back up. We're gonna go review the hit. We'll give him a little bit of time. We'll go grab a sandwich or something and come back and see if we can't find him. Ooh. He was almost perfectly broadside. There's two different angles there because the camera's one tree and I'm in another, obviously. But and he's point blank. I should have drilled him. But before the rain comes, I think we're gonna go out and, and see if we can't find. Him. We'll pick the blood trail back up. See if we can't find him. I know he's there. I just don't know how far he went. this what a nice deer well I could not be happier to be sitting behind this beautiful animal and this is one of the nicer deer on the farm he's just a gorgeous gorgeous buck holy cow next week on Winchester and Drury's natural born no oh, no turkey season is off and running baby this is my only Jay. My wife and I are going to deliver a baby tomorrow. How many points does this thing have? 13. Are you hooked on deer hunting? Yeah. Oh my. That's an exclamation point right there and that's a wrap.